So let's go ahead and take a look at part three and talk about the traces. Remember, we talked about traces in the last part. The intersection of a surface with a plane is what we call trace. The trace of a quadratic surface will be one of our conic sections. And we should remember those from last year. Remember also that the trace we talked about is a 2D image. It's going to be a two-dimensional image. To find a trace, we look at the intersections of the... To find some traces, we're going to look at the intersection of the coordinate planes. So let's take a look here. We have this shape right here. We should recognize this one. Now, this is where two are negative, but one is positive. They're all squared. This is our hyperboloid of one of two sheets. Of two sheets. In other words, and this corresponds to the y-axis. So if I wanted to graph this on the y-axis, I'm going to have a hyperboloid going this way and a hyperboloid going the other way. See a hyperboloid going the other way and I could just make it 3D by like a little top to it. So I kind of think like, like Princess Leia's here. I want to find the trace on the xy plane. Well, to do this, we let z equal 0. And if I let z be 0, we want to find the traces of the coordinate planes. If I let z be 0, we're going to get x squared, whoops, sorry, y squared over 4 minus x squared over 3 equal to 1. So we have to identify this. This is a hyperbola. So graphically, what it's saying is, if I let z be x, z be 0, and if I let like z be 0, that means on the xy plane right here, if I'm looking straight down on the xy plane, we would get this hyperbola right there. That would be that trace right there. It's a hyperbola on the xy plane. Now, what if I let z be 1? Well, if I let z be 1, I'm going to get x, y squared over 4 minus x squared over 3 equals 2. So it's also going to be hyperbola, but basically anytime we let z be anything, we're always going to get a, a hyperbola parallel to the x, y plane as well. To find the y, z plane, to trace on the y, z plane, here we're going to let x be 0. So let's let x be 0 now. If we let x be 0, we would get y squared over 4 minus z squared over 1 equal to 1. Again, this is a hyperbola on the yz plane. So if I were to draw just the yz plane, the yz plane, we would get a hyperbola, again, opening up on the y-axis right there. So that's what that trace would look like. And we can even draw it more accurately. If I want to find the trace on the xz plane, we let z equal 0. And if we let z equal 0, we would get, I'm sorry, not z, that's silly of me. If we let y equal 0, sorry, remember which one's missing, xz plane, y is missing. If we let y be 0, I'm sorry about that, we would get negative x squared over 3 minus z squared over 1 equal to 1. Um, we don't like that, so we're going to make this x squared over 3 plus z squared over 1 equal to negative 1. Well, this is garbage for us. It doesn't really mean anything for us. This cannot happen. So therefore, we get nothing, which is why we call this a hyperboloid of two sheets right here. Because at the at when y is 0, when y is 0 on the xy plane right here, on the uh, xz plane right here, there's going to be nothing there. All right. We're going to use traces to help gra to graph quadratic surfaces later. So for tonight, just practicing, it's really just about identifying them. The graphing's not very big. Identifying them and being able to talk about traces tonight for tonight's homework, okay? Hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you guys later.